Hey guys, we're here at the Singapore Hawker Center and we're here to find the best chicken and rice there is in Singapore. I'm super excited. I'm super hungry. I landed like two hours ago, but it was really hard to get into the town because everyone was just coming in. So let's see what we can find today. the one with the line. Got my food! Okay guys, so we got our food. This is what it looks like. It was like five dollars and this is the medium one. So actually when we ordered, I mean, so when I ordered the chicken and rice, so we had to like pay in the beginning. Like there's a station where you pay with cash and then you get a receipt and then you line up for another line and then you actually just um, wait in line until you get your food but when I was actually getting my food I saw Trevor Noah like walking right by me and I was like freaking out I was like almost like jaw drop I wasn't expecting him to be like at a hawker center in Singapore it's like randomly casually walking around with his friends so I was like so surprised and I was like I was like stunned and I was so like, shivering I don't know why I'm like I don't know like I don't even follow him that much, but I guess like a celebrity sighting in like a random country is really really fascinating to me apparently, but it was really really cool and then I texted my sister right away because she's a big big fan of Trevor Noah so I was like, oh my god I think he and his friends just left the building so this is like one of the most famous off um, centers because of this chicken and rice it's called the Maxwell Food Center and so I think he like left the building but yeah I decided to sit down, find some of cool off, and then I like looked on his Instagram, and then he is actually in Singapore, so I was just like crazy, but I, uh, I was being a creep. So let's see how this tastes. Actually, from the look of it, it doesn't really have that much sauce, because I feel like I expect Hainanese chicken rice to have a lot of sauce. It does come with this um, hot sauce, and then this is like steamed chicken with the rice that like smells really fragrant, to be honest, so I'm really excited to try. Just finished eating the Hainanese chicken rice and I got some soya drink. This was homemade and this was like only a dollar fifty. I'm gonna walk to the Chinatown shopping street or something. I saw that it was only four minutes walk away, so I figured why not. And I have a feeling Trevor knows walking there. Okay, I'm not gonna be a creep. But yeah, the sun is so so bright. So by the way, my thoughts on that um, Michelin star Hainanese chicken rice, it's good, but it's kind of bland to my liking. Cause maybe because I grew up eating just like the most like umami kicking flavor food area. But yeah. Let's go check out 7-Eleven. Oh my god, my favorite. I love this so much. I love this so much. Okay, they have breakfast, all day breakfast. Oh my god, durian cheesecake. Okay, so this 7-Eleven is really tiny, so let's find another 7-Eleven to explore. Or we'll find something else to do.
like going to different KFCs and McDonald's in different countries just to see like what kind of menu they have. It's cheaper than Daiso. I've never been inside a Singaporean supermarket. Oh my god. <gasps> what? I really want to try this noodle, but I think they ran out because I couldn't find any of them. What? This is cooked with stevia. That was still really bad for you. So I just finished buying the randomest things ever. And um, right now I'm just gonna go check out the McDonald's. Actually, it's like I'm actually at a basement, but there's like 20 different stores in here, so it's definitely a huge basement. I'm also at Chinatown, so that makes sense because there's a lot of people here, and this is like your one-stop kind of mall, I guess. Just got this drink at a Japanese store. It's a salty lychee, and I'm so excited to try them. I always get like lychee iced tea. How do you say it? Lychee or lychee? I always get lychee iced tea yes, at restaurants when I don't really know what else to order. So this is like my favorite. I mean, the fruit is. So I don't know how this tastes yet. Just open this. Um, and let's see how this is. It's so weird because it's actually really lychee-ish. This is like your typical lychee iced tea. But then if you add salt, so I guess it is true to the name, which is salty lychee. So I don't blame it, but it's it's pretty good. I'm not mad at it. I found a McDonald's. Let's go. I used to drink this so much when I was in college in the Bay. If you guys been to the Guan and Cupertino Village, comment down below. What was your favorite drink or what is? I'm looking for their new menu actually. See if they have it. So I was actually looking for the red rice porridge that McDonald's had just released online, but they don't have it. And I asked the guy who was working in the counter and he was like, McDonald's doesn't sell rice. So I'm just gonna walk. It's actually nicer now that the sun kind of set. It's almost it's, it's 7 p.m. or something like that. I'm still in Chinatown, but I'm going to the People's Park Center, which is just across the street. Um, oh my god, look at all the design. It's not as hot anymore, it's so nice out. So, yeah, I'm gonna go to People's Park Center. And um, actually, growing up, I would always come to the food court here whenever I have a stop by in Singapore. And we would always get like the fake um, shark fin soup. I it's so much nicer now. Wait, is that? Oh my god, childhood. Walking to the hotel right now, just got off the taxi. And this is my view or my walking route to the hotel. It's so pretty. I did some shopping at Fair Price and I was really sad because I couldn't find what I wanted, which was like this bread. But it's in the bubble milk tea flavor and I really wanted it. I saw it online and it looks so good. But I couldn't find the two things that I wanted to eat, which is the McDonald's red rice porridge and that of tea bread. So hopefully we'll find something. I'm gonna just chill right now and see if there's a 7-Eleven nearby. I haven't really explored this area, but I think it's kinda dead. Hey guys, it's 10 p.m. right now and I haven't vlogged since the last time that I checked in and I did a lot of things actually. I went to the club lounge and they had like cocktails and whatever and then I went swimming so that was nice and now I'm gonna go to bed. I actually showered and I also washed my hair. So it's super nice right now. And one cool thing about this hotel that I want to share with you guys. So, so right on the nightstand, there's this card that says, Sweet Slumber. The sweetest dream is just a pillow away. So there's this list of pillows. And you can call the housekeeping number. And then you can choose which pillow you want. And there's this snow down 
microfiber pillow, there's a snow down cotton pillow, there's an air balance contour memory foam, there's air oxygen foam, there's the basic latex pillow, and there's buckwheat pillow. The last one is the lavender scented dream pillow. And so obviously the last one, the lavender one has actual scent that can help promote relaxation and calm you down. But I actually called and they don't have the lavender anymore. So they said that they have like all of them except like two of them. Um, so I got the buckwheat pillow. So I'm waiting for that to get here. Sounds kind of gimmicky to me to be honest. But have you guys been to a hotel where they have like a list of just pillows you can choose from and then you can I mean like there's a lot of pillows already here you know what I mean like I don't need more pillows but I'm here for the experience right but the buckwheat pillow is supposedly um, gonna help provide optimal support for the head and the neck it also helps to stay cool and soothes muscle tension allowing for a more peaceful rest which is something that I need right now because I actually just hiked a mountain yesterday before my flight and I did not know that I was gonna hike a mountain so yeah let's see what the pillow's gonna show up like hello thank you okay this is heavy oh my god this is like Oh my god, this is so heavy. Okay, I got my buckwheat pillow. This is so weird. Am I gonna enjoy this? Okay guys, this is the pillow number six. Buckwheat, fairly good for muscles. Oh my god, it's kind of, I don't know. If you guys like firmer pillows, I think this is good, but... I think this is kind of nice for neck, maybe. I don't know. I'm gonna go to sleep. For real. Oh. Alright. That's it for the pillow review. Peace. Bye. So let's test the pillow. Okay, this is kind of firm. You might like it, you might not. It kind of shapes to the neck very well and it's not like smushy. It doesn't bounce back like foam does because that bothers me a lot when the foam pillows actually like bounce back so with this I don't know it feels like sleeping um, on a bean bag but then like firmer if that makes sense okay this is it for the pillow review um, I don't know what's gonna be the next footage bye